classic sounds that are tongue tip sounds are things like L, D, Z. Those all require contact between the tip of the tongue and the teeth. It's interesting, many children don't have a lot of speech problems or uh, they're relatively mild and many times people don't pay much attention to it. They think it's just kind of cute childlike speech. Say John Luke. Or they sound a little bit uh, muffled in the way they say certain things. Say doggy dog. Doggy dog. It's important to try to distinguish that from what's actually a real problem. You can learn to compensate pretty well, uh, and kids do, and actually make something that sounds very like the sound you're trying to make, even with a pretty significant tongue time. You generally can't see it, but what they're actually doing is if they can't pull their tongue forward to make a T, they will actually do it by uh, using some other, you know, contact point in the mouth, T or something where they're using the sides of the tongue or they're using something with their teeth, for example, and it's sort of subconscious. You say lollipop. Lollipop. But the classic sounds that are tongue tip sounds are things like L, D, uh, Z. Those all require contact between the tip of the tongue and the teeth or the upper part of the palate. And um, when that's missing, then in fact children can't make those sounds. They're supposed to do it right. So they'll develop speech They'll be acquiring language, they'll be understanding words, there's no problem related to that, but it'll be some sounds aren't quite right and the articulation's not quite right.